All right, first and foremost, I want to say, call her Loyam, La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, the all praises to the Heavenly Father, the name is only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, may the Heavenly Father love and mercy truly endure forever for Israel and Israel only, as it says in the Holy Scriptures. All right, it's your brother, Yerumbia, come back at you, do the sit down, and uh, today we got uh, part three on the series that I was doing. Um, I felt, yeah, let me show you because I'm already here. It's a lot here. Yeah, part of the series that I was doing, uh, called uh, Christians Hate God, right? Um, we just keep banging, banging on Christians, right? Because they they act like they uh know these scriptures. And the thing is, is that they're not even applying it to their life. All right. So this was the first video that I've done. As you can see right there, Christians Hate God, the Slavery Edition, the Slavery Edition. I did that. That was the first one. And this this one was the second one. Christians Hate God. Christians Hate God, Pastors Edition. Um, and it was removed. Um, you know, I went back and I rewatched the video. Like, maybe I said uh, one or two things, you know, I probably shouldn't have uh, said, you know, but uh, just understanding uh, more and more about uh, Esau's um, uh, black black duct, duct tape over uh, people's mouth that he's uh, trying to uh, put in this so-called land of the free, uh, Babylon, right? You, you, you're, you're in the land of the free, you know, and have freedom of speech, but you know, it's as a limit, you know, <laughs> it's a limit on uh, what you can say, but they uh, portray that you have freedom of speech. So this was a video that I done that got uh, removed and it actually gave me a strike. Um, and I got another one uh, on that video that um, ended up having this channel um, not active currently. Right. So that's why I'm on my backup channel. But uh, be that as it may, um, yeah, this is a video that um we're getting into um is talking about uh uh talking talking in tongues, right? So you know, Christians don't know a damn thing what they're talking about. You know, they perceive that they can speak this jibber jabber, right? Uh, you know, um, um, gibberish language, right? Yeah, I mean, you know type of language that you know i mean people that will have so-called sense shouldn't speak <laughs> and they consider it uh biblical so let's go into this bible and let's see if it's a uh, biblical all right um this is the book of first corinthians chapter 14 and verse 1 uh i'm gonna read it on the nlt verse 1 let um let love be your highest goal but you should also discern the special abilities, uh, the special abilities the spirit gives, especially the abilities of prophecy. Key, key, key in on the prophecy part, right? Verse two: For if you have ability, the ability to speak in tongues, you will be talking only to God, right? So that's what Paul's letting us know. Like if you have the ability to speak in tongues you will only be speaking to god right so this is what christians take they take this and they run with it they don't you know um i may not go through this whole chapter you know because I'm, I'm not fitting to really have the video be all that long actually uh, a little bit before camp so I, I probably don't go through this whole chapter but you know i encourage brothers and sisters to read this whole chapter and you will see that it parallels um exactly with the concept that you know i'm bringing out that not just that i came off my own head uh actually you know this is what brothers that have understanding you know this is this is the understanding that the bible uh talks about this ain't just a personal uh understanding that um a doctrine that i came up with all right um and these uh christians they don't understand they don't understand the bible and again like how i said earlier it's because they don't apply it to their life because if they applied the Bible to their life, they wouldn't be whores and whoremongers, right? Pastors want the pastors wouldn't have 
you know, of of five wives. Um, that's uh, that's four of them belong to a brother, belong to brothers that's in the church, right? <laughs> I mean, so you know, I mean, if they apply these scriptures to their life, they they would actually understand. And if they read the book, because they don't actually read the book, but I'm gonna read it again, verse two. Um, for if you have the ability to speak in tongues, you will be talking only to God. Since people won't be able to understand you, you will be speaking by the power of the Spirit. But it will be all, um, all, but it will, it will all be a mystery. All right. So they, they take that and they run with it and they say, oh, well, you know, see, you know, the, the Bible justifies me, uh, speaking in tongues. Let's see. Verse three. But one who prophesies strengthens others and, and encourages them and comforts them. So Paul is elevating prophesying. So lucky. Okay. Versus speaking in tongues, right? Verse four, um, a person who speaks in tongues strengthens uh, personally, but one who speaks a word of prophecy strengthens the entire church, right? And we know that the church means the body. Even even Christian church would say that, you know, that church means the body, but they would say the body of believers, you know, a, a multi-ethnic uh, racial group, right? But obviously, if you read it precept upon precept, you understand that it's only speaking about Israelites, right? Um, verse 5, I wish you could all speak in tongues, but even more, I wish you could all prophesy, for prophecy is greater than speaking in tongues, unless someone interprets what you are saying. So that the whole church or the whole body will be strengthened, right? So if, you know, there's nobody to interpret what you're, you're saying, you know, you, you just look like a barbarian. Like if I just come into your church and I hear you speaking, you know, like a chipmunk, one of these Alvin and the chipmunks, then like, you know, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know what I mean, like you, you can see why people turn back to the streets. They turn back. To uh, to live in a wicked lifestyle because they see that the church is nothing more than a circus, right? Um, verse six, dear brothers and sisters, if I should come to you speaking in a salagi, salagi. Verse six, dear brothers and sisters, if I should come to speak, um, come to you speaking in an unknown language, an unknown language. Keep that in mind because he, he's saying tongue, but then he says language, right? So it's saying a language, right? So it's, it's you know, that Christians will still say, oh, well, you know, see, this, you know, this is a special language. Yeah, I mean, I, I got it from Sesame Street, right? <laughs> and only the Lord knows it, right? Um, an unknown language, how would that help you? But if I bring you a revelation or some special knowledge of prophecy or teaching that will be helpful, that will be more helpful, right? I show you how you're going off according to thus say the Lord, right? I show you that it's actually slave ships in the Bible and that blacks and Hispanics were both put on slave ships at different periods of time, right? Linking um, their ancestors to the curses that the Lord said that would happen to a particular people that actually benefits them more than you speaking jibber jabber, right? Verse seven, even lifeless instruments like the flute or the harp must play the notes clearly or no one will recognize the melody, right? Like no one will understand what you're saying, right? This is why he's is, is giving it uh, uh, in this particular translation. Oh, and he did so too in the um, KJV, but... In this particular translation, it's, it's just saying that um, like this, uh, um, as far as the flute and the harp, you know, that they have to play uh, notes. That way you can recognize the melody, right? And um, and if the uh, and and if the uh, and if the 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 bird, the bird, what's this word? It's a, it's it's trumpet though. Um, doesn't sound a clear sound. How would the uh, how would the soldiers know they are being called to battle? 
right? So if like a trumpet is blowing, right? If um, like, and it's not producing the sound, but it's just it's blowing. How 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 would people know that it's a battle uh, coming? You know, they wouldn't know that it's a battle coming. Yeah, you know I mean, because it's it's not it's not something that they understand. They don't understand the sound. Right. Um. Let me read verse nine. Um. It is the same for you if you speak to people in in words they don't understand. How will they know that you are um what you are saying? You might you might as well be talking in an empty space. Right. I'm gonna read it um in the NIV. So it is with you. Unless you speak intelligently, intelligent, intelligently, uh, intelligible words, uh, um, with your tongue. Oh, so like it. Intangible uh, words with your tongue. How would anyone know what you are saying? You will just be speaking into the air, right? And that's and that's and that and that's what y'all do. Like when y'all speak in these uh. These uh, what what uh some of these Christians say these uh, angel language, and all this like this rhetoric, you know, and this uh, you know, it, it has our people uh, cuckoo back side of their mind. I'm gonna return back to this, but um, I'm gonna go here real quick. Do follow my instructions. The anointing is here to do the rest. I can't do. What for you, but I can tell in tongues if you follow my instructions, the anointing is here to do the rest. I can't do it for you, but I can tell you how to pray in supernatural languages. So you start speaking like little baby words and say them as fast as you humanly can when I begin to pray. And when the supernatural will become natural as you take a step, Peter. Raise your hands to the Holy God and begin to pray in a language you've never been instructed. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in a language you haven't been instructed, right? In a language you haven't even been told told about. Just 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 start and he and he uh is literally gonna say uh start speaking like a baby. Right. This is not what the Messiah said when he said that that, you know, you have to come as a as a baby. <laughs> it didn't start saying um start saying goo goo gaga. That's not what he that's not what he meant. Right. That's not what he meant. So, I mean, this this Edomite and, you know, you see Jake right on the side of him. Right. Of course, you know, Jake, Jake just happy to get a check. Right. They, he don't care what's right or wrong. He just happy to get a check. So, yeah, I mean. This this was going on, and all praises to the heavenly Father for setting up uh, uh, brothers, you know, that's willing to be diligent and um, edifying the people and correcting, you know, the uh, the the wrong that's in this earth. And what I mean correcting it, and, and what I mean cor um, by correcting it is actually about pointing it out, so our people can identify what wrong is, right? So um, so let me go back. Um, let me just go to verse 11. Um, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 14 and 11. But if I don't understand a language, I will be a foreigner to someone who speaks it. And the one who speaks it will be a foreigner to me. All right. So that's just what it is. Like, you know, it's just it's just like it's just like uh, speaking uh, uh, to a, a northern kingdom brother and he speaks. Right, uh, um, um, Espanol, right? He speaks Spanish. Then I don't understand Spanish, right? And if he doesn't understand, you know, this, and you know, doctrinal language, this that was forced on on us, right? The same thing with him. It, like we will be foreign to each other. Just saying that, you know, in a, a lamest turn like that, like we, like it'll be foreign because we both will be be speaking. And we won't understand each other, right? So that's that's what it's bringing out. Verse twelve, and the same 
is uh, true for you since you are so eager to have a special and that's part of the problem right our people just want to try to just feel that the lord is using this right why can't we just do what the lord tells us to do uh, uh, then we could be like feel justified that the lord is using us i mean but but we have to be extraordinary and speak in tongues and and do all this right we gotta we gotta be extraordinary i mean instead of just doing what he wants right um, verse 12, the same is true for you, since you are so eager to have a special a special abilities, the spirit gives, seek those things that will strengthen the whole church, which is what? Prophecy. That's what he's saying, like, seek the things that are strengthen the whole body, the whole church, not, not just you, right? Um... Verse 13, so everyone who speaks in tongues should pray also for the ability to interpret what um, what um, has been said, right? And these jokers don't understand what's being said. I mean, they don't, they don't understand what's being said. In fact, let's go back to this video. You end up praying a language you've never been instructed. If you don't move your tongue and speak, no one else will do it. Oh, I'm not kidding. 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 Oh, I'm not to say but just just say non-syllable words and, and it'll make sense is that what he said oh, yeah. Christianity, Salagi. Christianity. Christianity is a damn uh, joke, man. That's what it is. Like, it's a damn uh, joke. Let me uh, go back. Um, Where's that? Um, try to go do this real quick. Um, Let me read 15. Um, Verse 15. Well, then, what shall I do? I will pray in the spirit. And I will also pray in words I understand. I will sing in the spirit, and I will also sing with words I understand. Verse 16. For if you praise the Most High only in spirit, how can those who don't understand you praise the Most High along with you? And that's what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to praise the Lord together, but they're all saying different things, right? Um... How can they join you in giving thanks when they don't understand what you are saying? Right? This is it's almost like Paul seen this video, right? Just, just going into it. Uh verse 17. You will be given thanks very well. Slocky. You will be given thanks very well, but it won't be strengthening the people who hear you. Nobody, nobody is strengthening this. And I and I believe I heard Eve in the back saying, um, Amen. Right? I mean, like as if she understood what this Edomite was saying. Right? Um What's that? Verse 17. Hey, let me go uh, 18. Um, verse 18. I thank the most high that I speak in tongues more than any of you. Verse 19. But in the church meeting, 
I would rather speak five words, uh, so I can speak five understandable words to help others than 10,000 words in an unknown language, right? I mean, and that just makes sense. If five words that I can speak to you, you can comprehend, can actually help help you change or save your life, like that can be more prosperous to you than speaking 10,000 words that you had no idea of what I'm saying, right? Um, verse 20, dear brothers and sisters, don't be childish in your understanding of these things. And, and that's the whole thing. Everybody want to sing spiritual and have spiritual gifts, right? They, they're a damn child, right? Be, um, be innocent as babes, right? Not speaking as a baby, but be innocent as babes when it comes to evil, but be mature and understanding, understanding matters of this kind, right? Um, what up, uh, I'll read 21, uh, 21, um, it is written in the scriptures, I will speak to my own people through strange languages and through the lips of foreigners. But even then, they will not listen. And y'all don't, right? We got brothers up here, you know, like Ariel is speaking in Hebrew. We got brothers up here, like Thayer, that's speaking, you know, in other languages to the, to the northern kingdom, right? The northern kingdom language, right, that they uh uh, uh, uh been uh, uh given you know, through uh, um, through the foreigners, right? <laughs> Esau coming over, but nevertheless, we we have brothers speaking in these other languages, and it's like you know, our our people still, for the most part, our people still don't perceive, right? Um, um, verse uh, verse uh, verse twenty two. Verse twenty two. So um, so you see that speaking in tongues is a sign. Not for the believers, but for the unbelievers. Prophecy, however, Salakia, hold on, let me read that again. Verse 22. So you see that speaking in tongues is a sign, not for the um not for the believers, but for the unbelievers. Um let me go here. Get in the get in the KJV. Probably verse four. The book of Acts, chapter two. What do I want? Probably three. Uh, I'll go to eight. The book of Acts, chapter two, and verse four. Um, in the KJV, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other um tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Verse five. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. So, it's Israelites. From every nation that's under heaven, right, coming to Jerusalem, verse 6. Now, when it was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that they, um, that because that every man heard them speak in his own language, right? That's that's the unbelievers. Unbelievers could turn to believe when they start hearing brothers who's preaching the word start speaking in, in their own language, and it was just, just. Uh, 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 all these different uh, uh, Israelites from um, obviously there's all Israelites, but they're from all different regions, all different walks of life, all speaking different type of languages, and they hear these brothers from um, and it's saying in the next verse, verse seven, and they were all amazed and marvelled, saying one to another, behold, are not all these which speak Gal um Galileans, right? So uh. So it's so it's like hold up if if they all come from this one region, right? How are they all speaking to us in these all foreign language in these all foreign languages that 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 we know, right? This is how this is how an unbeliever could could believe, right? Verse eight, and how here we every man in his own um uh, it, in our own tongue wherein we were born. Right, because they were born outside of Jerusalem. Right, they was born outside of Israel. Right, but these is Israelite, which you would call Israelite foreigners. They're still Israelites by blood, but they was uh 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 uh, uh speaking other languages, and in some cases indoctrinated with other languages. But let's go back. Um, 
was at 22. Um, uh, the uh, middle of 22. Um, prophecy, however, is for the benefit of the believers. Uh, is for the benefit of believers, not unbelievers, right? Um, where am I? Verse. I'm gonna just drop down. Try to make it too. Uh, Verse 27, uh, no more than two or three should speak in tongues. Hold up. I, I, I think they had a whole congregation, a whole, um, like, half of a football field. I may be exaggerating a little bit, but it's, they, had, they had over 30 or so people, right? No more than two or three. Let's lock it. No more than two or three should speak in tongues they must speak one at a time and someone must interpret what they are saying there's no one there to interpret what they're saying right um verse 28 but if no one is present who can interpret they must be silent in the church meetings and speak in tongues to god in private so what are they doing Right, I, and I thought these Christians just love Paul, right? Some of some some of them, you they 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 uphold Paul's uh, words and writings more than the Messiah. Like they run to Paul's writings before they go to the Messiah. So it's like, like y'all not even gonna listen to what Paul say? That's crazy, right? Verse two: Let two or or three people prophesy, and let another elevate what is said. Uh, what I want. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna just drop now. Verse verse thirty nine. So my dear brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy, and don't forbid speaking in tongues, right? And we don't we don't forbid brothers who who can speak in tongues, right? Just name two uh brothers who who was in our camp. That's you know that that uh that speaks in tongues, right? So so we don't forbid uh speaking in tongues. We we just you know uh need to elevate things being done properly, decently, and in order, right? Not the not as do as thou will, but we gotta do things as the way the Lord says to do it, right? I mean, and, and we gotta understand that that this uh uh so called speaking in tongues that this church do is not biblical, right? Um, verse 40, but be sure that everything is done properly and in order. And that's just the thing. We don't um, um, do things properly and in order. Um, in fact, let me just go here. Right. So this is you see this. This is the definition of tongue or that looking up tongue. Right. So this is what it means for, for you know, the Christians that think that uh, speaking gibberish is, is OK. Right. Um, the tongue, a member of the body. Um, that, and that's what it is. It's a member of the body um, organ or origin uh, of speech. Right. A tongue, a language. Or a dialect used by a particular people, right? That you see that a language. So it's not it's not jibber jabber. It's a language or a dialect dialect used by a particular people, descending from that or another na or or other nations, right? So it's a known language. Not not just a language that you made off of the fly and just started freestyling it. No, it's already a known language, right? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me yeah, let me go back, read this one more verse one more time again. 
First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse uh and verse 10. There are many different languages in the world, and every language has a meaning. Um in the NIV, undoubtedly, there are all sorts of languages in the world, yet none of them is without meaning. So what the hell is these pastors talking about? Some you could just speak in tongues. But but the Bible says that that tongues is a language and it's a language from a particular uh, 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 nation of people right so again y'all Christians don't know a damn thing right and all praises to the heavenly father who gives wisdom and understanding right all glory honor and praise to him and him and him alone all right and hopefully brothers and sisters was edified till next time I say shalom on.